So people can join as they as they join. I just gotta download the pack again. It's all good. Uh, we're gonna cut longs on this one. I'm just making a road here with the buncher. Um, I don't really particularly have a big plan of where we're going, but fresh game oh. save. Fresh game, brand new. Um, so I was gonna do Creek. Fox Creek, but uh, in the next update, it's changed a few things quite drastically on it, so I didn't want to screw up our save game. We'll start a fresh one on the next update. Cause I fixed a whole bunch of the frame rate issues and some of the stupid trees. Is there a specific uh, filter I need to do? Cause I can't find it. Ah, uh, Flirty, what do you got Just for yours? Is it allow? You have to uh, say allow crossplay or something. I think. Yeah, I just toggle crossplay when I have trouble finding it. Oh, there you go. And then like, I just always do max 16 players because then everything always pops up. Max, yeah, max 16 players. That'll fix her. And then the letter Z <laughs> with one three following. <laughs> no what, spaces. What does everybody say? Does everybody say Z or Z? So I write... I write Z's with a cross in the middle. Okay. Same with my sevens. Yeah. Um, but how do you say it? Do you say Z or do you say Z? I will. I will say Z if I'm spelling something. If they don't understand what I'm saying, I will say Z to clarify that it's not Charlie. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I just say Z. Z's dead. Baby. I just say Z's Z. dead. <laughs> say the password is one two three. Oh, uh, just one three. Same as the, uh, same as the old title there. So I haven't built like an actual landing or anything yet, so we're working our way down the hill here. It's actually the first time I played farm sim on this, this monitor. Hey, sweet. Does it look good? Oh yeah. Does it feel oh, yeah. good? That's the important part. Oh, it feels great. See, that's that's <laughs> that's the important part. If it doesn't yeah, it feel is. good, then you can't enjoy it. Oh, we're going to cut. I guess we're going to go through this. We've done this before, but we're doing it again. So all that wood that is along the road, um, skid it somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Skid it back to a place. Or you can process and load as you go. It really doesn't matter. I really don't care. It's just kind of right away wood, so. I will leave that to yeah. you guys to decide. I see you've made a you've made a road. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of making a road here there's a uh a dip down the hill and then i'm just kind of looking at the map here and then it kind of opens up into this big block up in here i think that's where we'll end up what are we doing for length uh we're gonna do longs so i i'd say try 14 maybe and see what happens um if you're finding it's too short with for 14s maybe 13s I think 13's put on the trailer pretty good too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think they do. Uh, yeah. What's the password? Uh, one three. The unlucky one number. Three. The unlucky number 13. Possible sync warning. Heck yeah. If it works, if it works, it works. I went on a plane a little bit. <laughs> but I thought that was me. <laughs> It's scooted them over, it's hard, right? Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, I got my first pair of court boots yesterday for my dad's boss, because I helped out this summer up at work. And Your first pair of which, sir? I got a new pair of court boots. Oh, sweet. Hey, that's a good deal. The boss yeah, bought them for you? Dad. Yeah, my dad's boss bought him for me. He's like, he helped out a lot this summer, so go get him a brand new pair of court boots, whatever pair he wants to get. Hey, like, Thank right you. on. It's a good feeling. I was just coming up for fun, so I could be around, out in the woods, around the equipment and stuff, but I guess I got something out of it. <laughs> yeah, hey, right on. Oh. I think I need some permissions. I can't get it. Oh, yeah, me. everybody does. Sorry, kids. It's a new server. I keep forgetting. Uh... Also, make sure you join the farm or you won't be able to get into anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Perfect. There we go. Set. Do I have a chainsaw? Uh, oh, no. no, I should buy one of those too, hey? 
Let's chance. Is it individual or do we all get it when I buy it? We all we get, get it. it. Oh, okay, good. I always forget that. You should have a chainsaw now. I'm kind of half making a road and half clear cutting this one section, so it's going to be a little messy. Yeah, I don't know how long how long a length you can get out of these uh, these little dead trees. I'm pretty sure you can do a 13. I think but you can get right at 14. Right at 14? Yeah, I mean, well, even I if you run them full. Close. Yeah, full length. 13 and a half, maybe, if you have to. But no big deal. I keep forgetting I'm um, still running the last updated mods on here. Because I'm trying stuff that I can't do. Being aggressive with the buncher. The new updated stuff is a little more aggressive. Just a little bit. In a good Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh shit, the old man's here. Trouble has arrived. I need to show up. <laughs> and he's buying him. <laughs> yeah, right. How are How you? you doing today? Yeah, we're doing we're doing good, man. I just got pulled off some food off the grill and then I, I just remember it's like, oh shit. Which is a great time for me. Heck yeah. I was gonna so, say yeah. I did a little bit later here, um just the way it worked out today. For work and yeah. stuff so i was like oh sweet i got to go in and do my work this morning and then i was cool. done so i could mod all day it was pretty sweet awesome man yeah right. that never happens ever so hopefully yeah, it's a, right. a new trend <laughs> that i can keep up on because it's kind of nice to have a good portion of my saturday yeah right. for sure totally i slept till three in the afternoon and then played starfield until about 10 minutes oh hey starfield how's starfield oh that's pretty good is it all right yeah, I hear I hear such mixed reviews that I don't know what to call. I'm just gonna uh, wait for well, it to go on sale. People who thought it was gonna be like better than Star Citizen, and well, they're probably disappointed because they didn't pay attention to anything. Yeah. I mean, the and one then, thing that I do uh, agree with in the critics. The rest of us who knew it was gonna be like Fallout 4. Yeah. I just like the transitioning from planet stuff. That's kind of crazy. I thought they would totally make it like Very No Man's good. Sky, but. I like it. You you prefer like fast travel or what? Or do you like to land on your own planet and traverse? Oh, did Flirty die? No, he's still there. The internet just got down. Oh, out. no, you're good. I can hear you now. Sudden death. It's like, I hope the internet didn't get Oh, that was weird. Yeah, yeah. I, couldn't yeah. I couldn't hear you at all, Drew. Yeah, Who, me? I thought it was just me. Oh, it like glitched out or what? Yeah, it is right now. Yeah. Still glitchy? Yeah, it's still like. Uh oh. I, I hear all you perfectly. Yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah. you sound like a robot. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. Yeah, uh, everyone does it for me. Oh, Lord. I wonder if I can change. Hmm. Where's the process? Did that do anything? Do I sound better? Oh, hey, oh yeah, Roger. I just yeah, changed us to U.S. Central for our region. I don't know what the hell that does, but that usually fixes it. Okay. It's supposed to automatically pick the best one, but sometimes it still doesn't pick the best one. No. But that's the only thing that I've found to fix the wally voice. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite part about the in-game chat in here is when someone gets a little bit wacky it'll make your uh just robot out <laughs> oh you get higher like pitch <laughs> yeah and then you'll sound like a robot it's that's hilarious i like playing by myself but so yeah starfield yeah pretty wild hey eh? do you so yeah. where i left off was do you prefer to fast travel the planets or do you prefer like the transition as you fly into a planet so personal like uh, your personal personally i prefer the star citizen method of yeah being, like landing where you want around it and then anywhere down to it yeah can you, you in, in starfield can you fly around on the planet no it's oh. like you can't fly the ship unless you're in space and it's very limited movement like the mouse is your pitch in your uh yaw and then 
W and S are forward and backwards, D and A are to roll it, but it doesn't roll continuously. It'll just kind of roll it to one side as you turn. Oh, weird. That's annoying. Can you yeah, can you set up joysticks or anything or not a chance? I think I, I, you can. I don't think so. And if you can, I wouldn't want to. Oh, it's not. It's just not uh, great. There's not enough control. There's not enough control to warrant using joysticks. Man, that's too bad. Eh? I'm joining now, lads. Yeah, come I on mean, in. If you were using like an Xbox controller, <laughs> that would probably be the the most I would do to. I see this one chick on TikTok, and she plays a lot of Star Citizen, and she, I, I don't know what controllers she's using, what joysticks, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but she's, she's using her dual joysticks on the actual Starfield game, you know, she's Oh, so it. she found a way to do it, eh? Yeah, yeah, I, I did some research, it seems like. Can I you, uh, can you, like, set your controls and stuff individually, or do you have to use some, like, extra third-party program stuff to make it work? I don't know. I, I'm just using in-game stuff like the mouse and keyboard. There's not enough flying to do anyway. Oh, I, I mean, see. Got you. Ninety percent of it's just walking around on the on the ground, exploring and uh, like killing pirates at a base or whatever. Right. Hmm. I mean, yes. there is space combat. I just haven't gotten that far into it yet. And that's not what I bought the game for was space combat. I yeah, my, for the my cousin's been giving me uh, updates on it and telling me. He said the the space combat itself. He says really hard, um, like I don't know, maybe frustrating or I don't know what it is, but it's frustrating as shit. Yeah, maybe. Hey, that's probably what he's referring but, to. Like I don't know. I didn't I didn't get that game because I wanted to fly spaceships. That's well, no. Why yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. You know. I'm just waiting for I Star mean, Star Citizen. I don't even care about Starfield to be honest. Like I just want Star Citizen to play out and be the Starfield version of itself that i want because it's gonna have yes. a lot of yes, that sir. stuff right so yeah it's gonna have it's gonna have everything it's i still want my model want constellation it. they're supposed to send me that's never gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> i paid for that yeah. package it was expensive that shit, too. hey guys hey how's it going uh, it's going good welcome to yeah, no kidding. Victor! Yeah, Hello, but, Victor. I you seen... said you weren't going to make it. Yeah, right? You <laughs> lied. Yeah, Again. It's the best lie I've ever heard because he's here now. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> How's Victor doing? Uh, doing good. Brickin' right? He... What's the password? Uh, 1-3. One, 1-3. One, and... and the server's name is Z13. Oh, gotcha. Okay. We changed it because there was too many FDR logging servers, so I was like, I can't there, do this. There actually yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the unofficial. <laughs> After these videos come out for a while, then everybody will be calling them like Zed something, and I'll be like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it happens every Give us time. A file for I remember when you got into the uh, banana. Oh, uh, like for the extra mods there, Victor? Yeah. Uh, it's in the server info, no, crew info channel, I think. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a zip file there. Come on. Was it not there? Mm. Yeah, Let me check. Info. Crew info. Oh, it's at the bottom. Extra mods. Very bottom of crew info channel. Okay, so that's disappeared for me. Oh, shit. Oh, right. No, it's something to do with my... Let's see here. Uh, here, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I will post it in our operator room. Because right, I got it right here on my desktop, so I'll just drag it over. There we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Come on down. All right, I'm going to let maybe people get caught up a little here before I cut too many more trees. Oh, we're doing uh, good. You guys are doing okay back there? I think I'm doing good. I have no Seven. idea. I'm going to come zoom that back here a little bit. There's a button top following me, throwing trees around. Freaking rights, man. That's me. Hell yeah. I, uh, what do you want me to do, lads? If I yeah. can get this damn thing to be untangled in whatever the fuck it's tangled in you just do whatever feels right honestly right now we're just kind of building a road to hopefully a clear cutty area and then uh yeah you guys are loading right there perfect uh there's a skitter sitting at the main base somebody could hop in that and drag wood or something help out the other skitter operator yeah i'll do that if that's okay sweet uh, Flirty, when you get up to where, kind of where I'm at right now, we'll just pile there. We can start building a little space here to cut. Okay. Because it's really close to everything. 
And then maybe what I'll do is I'll start clear cutting this. All right. Just how long is this Just damn tree? Too long? Way too long. It's the longest tree in the world, son. I think it is. I literally can't even. Welcome. <laughs> he made it. I had to pull it all the way up across the road just to try to get the, the tip of it out from between this tree it was <laughs> stuck in. That's the only thing. I, oops. That's the only thing I don't like that I wish you could do is just be able to bust the ends off while you're moving around. Right. Like, all I would have had to do is yank right there. Right. Do you in? I'm just kind of piling trees here. Uh, we'll call this our landing, so to speak. And I dropped a bunch. And I dropped all of these trees. Making a mess here. Well, that's just what we do. Yeah, I was having trouble with my processor kept on to auto cut there even though the setting is on. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? You gotta like turn it off, then turn it on, then turn it off. Watch, we're going in here. I should just have it turned off permanently, because it's stupid. There's lots of things I don't like about the processor. Lots of features I wish I could just disable entirely forever. But like on a script level, just from the from the ground up. Am I driving into a stump? Of course it's a stump. I'm glad you were able to bring back the, uh, the, the South Star. Yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah, yeah, for sure. After I found out it was uh, not an actual representative of the company, it was just okay. some guy being a troll. <laughs> oh, wow. It was very convincing, though. Uh, it was a very convincing message. <laughs> I still haven't heard back from Quadco. Like, they're the ones who own it all now. Oh, really? Yeah, Quadco is South Star basically now. And uh, I did email them and ask them, but I haven't heard a, a th anything back yet. But until then, I will do it until they tell me no. <laughs> yep, yeah, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> and John Deere can suck it. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to say that for years. John I mean, sucks. it's true. Flirty has not had a positive disposition towards John Deere, no so kidding, I mean that's. Right? No. <laughs> I mean now it's it's the most warranted possible thing he could have had. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been right all along. Yeah, the crazy guy was right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knew. He knew. My dad's been telling me that since 1991. Yeah. <laughs> we obviously don't have the same father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. My, my dad does not like John Deere's at all. No, hey, not his thing. No, they they suck with fuel economy. They advertise max digging power over any other brand, but that doesn't mean they're better than anything no. else. Like they, yeah, we the company he and I both worked for. We were demoing some machines. Uh, we demoed like Link Belt, Cat, John Deere. Yeah. And. Uh, the boss really liked the link belt one and all he wanted was the only reason he liked it was because it was the cheapest one fair enough you know of course everybody, that's pretty much all everyone bosses else, everyone else in the company wanted the cat uh-huh and and the guy representing john deere was like yeah well, you know this has the most digging power out of any of them and so my father grabbed it started digging a hole and he goes yeah yeah it fills the bucket great and then he goes to like push the top off the pile yeah, yeah. So pushing, pushing with the bucket and the machine could only do half a bucket's worth pushing and then it would just die out or what yeah it would just sit there and hit the hydraulic <laughs> bypass because it didn't have the oomph it had all the oomph in the world to pull but it, it wouldn't push oops but the cat however yeah it wasn't it didn't fill the bucket as quickly but it would still push a shit ton that's so funny Funny how it's that just was, the little small things, hey, hey? Yeah, that was, it, my dad's like, you know, an excavator doesn't just dig, it pushes, it pulls, it, it's it got a swing left, swing right, you, you know. Yeah. I, I've graded driveways with an excavator. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you totally can. With the bucket, you yep. know? Just yeah. level it off, make it good, you know, it's not asphalt grade, but it's graded. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got to do that, that's fun. I like doing that. Entertainment. You, know, you can do some amazing things to, with those. Uh, 
Yeah, when we, when I used to prep driveways for, like, I would dig up and regrade a driveway with a skid steer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Nothing I else, uh, just a skid steer. Just I've gotten pretty darn good at grading with uh, the skid steer that we got on site. It's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty monstrous. Well, we got a, we had a, uh, we had a bobcat. We had the R series F seventy five or whatever the hell it's called or whatever it is, and. Uh, it just it kept having issues like constantly we were bringing it in for uh it was just like it was always like water in the sensors or like uh oh yeah we had the swash plates go out on it just constant shit all the time and because our the dealership for getting it uh serviced was like five hours away from where we are um they would oh. take it and then we wouldn't see our machine for like three weeks because they're dicking around with it and then it's done, and it's sitting there for another week while we figure out what, who's going to go pick it up and when kind of thing. So now they got rid of our Bobcat, and we have a Kubota SSV75. And oh, honestly, 10 to 1 for for power. Like, I absolutely love it for, for the way it's set up. A lot more space in the cab. It's a lot nicer that way. Um, yeah, the Kubotas are really nice. It is really nice. It, it's a bit, it's noisy in comparison, though. I will, I will crap on it for that. But, I mean, I wear headphones, crank music the entire time while I'm working half the time, anyway. So it's not a big, yeah, not exactly. a huge deal. You have to have music. Oh yeah, or I would yeah. die. Well, so at that job, you know, we had fucking John Deere three thirty three G uh, Deltas. Yeah. The D's. Oh my god, dude. You could go, like, I've never seen a skid steer use that much fucking fuel in my life. Really? Hey, they're bad for that? They are fucking horrible. Yeah, that's too bad. It, like, just ripping up ripping up an asphalt driveway at three-quarter throttle, not even steamrolling it, it, it would go through a tank a day. That's freaking nuts, man. Yeah. I'm and, they were, and they were loud as crap. Ours usually about I'm half a tank a day on a 10-hour shift, like for the Kubota. And I'm, I, I run it, I don't run it like balls out. I run it maybe even, like it has enough power that if I run it just at a quarter idle, it's more than enough for everything that I need to do. And the frickin' Bobcat, I used to have to run it three quarters to max just to get the power to make it do half the shit I wanted it to. Yeah, that's how the John Deere, or the John Deere skid steers were. Dude, you just had to wind in the fuck out. Yeah, it was brutal. But this they one, like I said, quarter idle, and it's like move, all yeah. the power I could ever imagine. Like I'm, I don't need to crank it up. If I turn it to half, I'm like, it's way too much. Like I don't even know what you would need yeah. to ever crank it up to half, above half it, for. It becomes this super fast, nimble ninja. No, yeah, okay. and it's got it's two okay. speeds. So you got like we call it hyperdrive. Basically, you pull the trigger, and it's like you can just yeah. go. You can like keep up with the cars. <laughs> <laughs> We had a New Holland like that, with the two-speed. Yeah. Fucking, that thing moved. They're pretty crazy, eh? Yeah. Well, we went from Holland our Bobcat eight. to that. It was just like, oh my god, this thing's so fast. The thing I didn't like, though, it was rubber-tired, so it had the chain that went from the rear to the front. Oh, weird. On each side. A chain, like, eh? Like, internal, so it's chained. It's one hydraulic motor for the left, one for the right, and then it's a chain that ties in the front tires. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, ours is all rubber tires, too. There's no tracks where we work. Yeah. But, well, uh, so, yeah, the New Holland was chained. It had a, it was like a chain drive between the... Hey, Flirty, could you come bail me out? I have a long log that's screwing me here. Yeah. You stuck. And the, uh... Huh, what are you doing over there? Just having a good old time. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll make a landing down here when you, after you do your mission yeah. there, sir. Oh, yeah. I used to run old school, um, the New Holland. I believe it was an LX eight eighty five. I think old school though. I had the foot controls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's what yeah. I. That's what I started with at my job. I went the from joysticks to those. Oh, I hate, yeah, it was a beast. Absolutely hated the foot controls though. <laughs> yeah. And our spare loader or our spare skid steer that they bring us also has freaking. Um, also has the freaking foot pedals, so like, yeah. Oh my god, my legs like just cramp up within like an hour. Hey, dude, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't do it, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, getting into the new machines, like you mentioned, the Bobcat. You know, everything's all just joysticks now. Just, yeah, totally. It took me a minute to get used to. It's like, oh my god, this is so awesome. Right. Just, yeah. Joysticks, 
Look at you guys just rocking down there. Good job. I'm watching you guys from my map here. Or my uh, Joysticks, painting view. I'm not, Joysticks or I'm not using it. Yeah, literally. That's kind of the point I'm getting to now. But now that we have two Kubotas on site, if one goes down, we just hop in the other one. I really just don't care. They actually both. got a nice machine. Yeah, they're, they're really yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Flirty, you'll see uh, when you get down to where I am, how kind of where the landing is. I'm laying basically all the wood in the water so that the tips or tops are in the water. Yep. And then the rest will, uh, the world can fight over it. Am I like uneven here? I feel like my machine has been... What is going on? That okay. big one should be able to go. I'll get the little one stacked up while you take that. The new tracks are going to be so much better. I have new so suspension. I see you're releasing Axe Mountain later this month. Oh, too, yes, well. sir. Yeah. Axe Mountain, and then another surprise one will be uh, okay. Ender's Forest is back as well. That, that's a favorite. Oh, man, they're going to be fun. I'm just yeah. excited to have more maps to play on, honestly. I mean, really, it doesn't really matter what they are. It's just having more content sweet. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this this hasn't really been a, a map building game for you this time around. No, it's been a very much a make the physics work on the machines game. But now that I'm I'm I, I well I say this all the time and I hate repeating myself, but I feel like I'm really caught up on the physics. As of the next update, will be pretty much as good as they get, I think, or well, as good as I think I can make them. Um, okay. The weights on the machines are coming down a little bit in the next update, just a tiny tiny bit because the. Uh, we have a new suspension system for all the tracks, and the new suspension system is so rock solid that I don't need to have that weight to keep the machine stable anymore. So I was able to bring it down by, I think these ones are uh, 165,000, and I was able to bring it down to 140, so it's a pretty big jump. And they still operate beautifully. So it's a win-win. And new toys. That Hitachi will be out in this next update, so that'll be good. Yeah, she looks pretty nice. Oh, man, I love I, that I machine. Really, she looks... Oh, dude. I mean, it was supposed to be a John Deere originally. And that's what it was going to be. <laughs> but they... It looks they better they orange. They yes, out. sir, it does, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> orange, it uh, orange has its uh, qualities, for sure. I like it. Yeah, I like the tracks that, that you did on that, too. On the oh, other yeah. Take that one. Your videos. And then Flirty's 568. That, I can't wait. Big Booty Judy, I can't wait for that. Yeah, big Booty Judy. <laughs> right on. Yeah, that'll be out in the uh, the next update. I'm going to do both cats. Or not not the next one, the one after it. I can't okay. give everybody everything at once. It's too much, so i got to space it yeah. out. Yeah, it's too much power. Yeah, yeah, it's too much. People's heads would explode. Well, what happens is, and I used to do this in the past, where I'd have, like, 15 mods and I'd release them all at once and the problem is um, people just get like I don't know if it's like they're overwhelmed like there's too much new stuff that like stuff gets forgotten or they don't care like it just you, you spend all that time on these individual mods and then you release them all at once and it's like certain ones don't get their 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 moment of fame because they're not right. really they're not really appreciated so it's it's better to release them in smaller groups so then people can be like oh that's cool that's cool hey right on but if I give it to everybody, and they're like, oh, I only like this one, the rest suck. And it's like, oh, well, go try the other ones. Nope, don't want to. That's I actually mean, a very good point, because last year you released, like, a big pack, I think. And yeah, like, and a lot of them just, yeah. It, and they're like, I totally forgot about this one or that yeah. machine or, you know. <laughs> and for how much time you spend on them, it's like you want them to have their 15 minutes of fame. And just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want them to get overshadowed by, like, a bigger, better machine or something. Because right. each of them have their own little special world, so. Yeah. But this next, this next pack will have the two maps, uh, the Hitachi, I think that, well, the, um, the new trailers, I think, are coming out. And I'm not sure if I'm going to release the dangle head, but I think it's done. I need way more testing on it, but it feels like it's pretty close to comfortable now. But the dangle felling head is an interesting, uh, interesting little thing. Some people want it. I could see I could see some places it would be useful, I guess, but I mean personally I'm kinda like meh. It's really fun on the mountains just because you can 
Yeah, whip you know, them you around, could, drop them in weird you spots. Do what you're doing and what I'm doing all, with one machine. Well, that's it, yeah. You know. And I put that can, delimbing script on it, too, so you can ri like take all the limbs off as you go. I right. love that script. Yeah, it's super <laughs> yeah. handy for all these yeah, nasty yeah. limbs. Well, and then Fox Creek, I never realized it, but those stupid, um, like those weird bendy spruce trees or pine trees. Yeah. The frickin' limbs, for whatever reason, if you cut like even six meter logs or five meter logs, the limbs stick there and they stay. Like, I noticed that. God, that's so annoying. So anyway, I, I couldn't fix it. So in the next update, all those trees that just don't have limbs, they've just removed the limbs off them and made them so you can't see them. Because okay. it doesn't matter yeah, what like I've I done. Kept kept back and forth my rollers. Yeah, and it won't go away, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Is, that, is it my game or something? No, it's just those, it's just those trees. They're the giant okay. stock ones, and somebody, some guy convinced me to put them back in there. And uh, I was like, sure, okay, we'll just do it, the heck with it kind of thing, right? And, uh... Just that can work out. Yeah, and they just, they're not good trees. <laughs> I won't put them on any other map, but... I think they're fine now without the limbs, but even loading them is a pain in the ass. It's because they're not, they don't, they're not flush, like they don't, mm -hmm. loading them just looks ugly. But I guess in real life, not all trees are perfect either, so. That's yeah, uh, very true. <laughs> so, whatevs. Yeah, you can deck these however you want, flirty, but I'm just kind of laying them in there. And then, uh, what we'll do after this area is cleared out, I guess we'll we'll be skidding kind of from my direction to this landing, so... And what I'll do is I will lay this one side down, pointing away from the landing. You want a processor to move up there? Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be a great idea, probably, to be honest. Alright, after I do these last three, I can move up. Because we got a lot down. <laughs> 